Hello everyone and Merry Christmas. It's Christmas Eve here in the Philippines. I'm John C. And I am doing this little video in response to Mo Fitzgerald's um, storage solution video for Third World War. Um, <clears throat> if you haven't seen that video, I'll make sure to put a link to that video in the description. But um, I have, uh, he, he had mentioned my name and said I, I was in need of a storage solution at the time. And I did. And I was able to find my own storage solution. And so this video is a way, as a kind of a friendly response to Mo, and a way to show an alternative way of doing um, uh, how I did this. I eventually did my uh, storage, my inbox storage solution. So here's the box, Third World War. And um, as you can see, it's pretty snug. Okay, it's all in there. Um, I don't have a video. I don't have a video camera. I'm just using my phone, so I can't really open this with just one hand. So what I'll do is I'll pause the video and I will open the box and I'll show you what's inside. All right, and how I did all my storage. Okay, we're back. So I've opened the box and you can see that I have these plastic containers and I have a baggie running around the perimeter. So I have a, uh, a sort of a hybrid baggy and storage tray uh, solution, okay? Let me show you the storage tray. I think this is what's, uh, uh, what is most curious. Okay, let me just take this out. And so you can see that these storage trays go like that. And you can see that the bags go around the storage tray. And down here is the rule book and all the player aid cards, the playbook, and the maps. They're all in there. So that's the first thing that comes down. And then, the, um, and then the uh, well, actually the uh, the the cards go. Uh, the uh, storage tray goes first, and then you just put the bags around it. So what I've done is I've done a one tray for the allies, and um, it's kind of like a hybrid, um, you know, military uh, the uh, units here, and some of the markers that are peculiarly um, allied here, and I've done something similar for the pact these are the pact and then these are the counter uh, the markers i've also put in all the arab the middle eastern countries here you have the iranians and the iraqis and and the kuwaitis and the kurds and all the rest of them are all in here and let me talk a little bit about the uh, the tray the tray is actually kind of like i have never seen these trays these are not um obviously readily available from GMT, these aren't as available, but they're pretty, I mean, uh, they, I found them here in the Philippines, or rather my wife found them, and um, <clears throat> and said, hey, would you be interested in these? And I said, yeah, okay, let's give them a try, and they did. So let me just show you how they work. They kind of snap like this, they open up like that, okay? So, I mean, there's like 42 wells here, right? That's one, two, three, four, five, six up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven across. So seven times six is 42 trays, or 42 wells, I should say. And um, what I've done is I have organized my uh, units according to organization stripe. You can see this is yellow, blue. Down here you've got the orange, you've got the red, okay, and so on. And some of the others I've organized by country, and so on and so forth. Okay, so I like these trays. Uh, these trays, um, I like them because, first of all, there's no wasted space. Okay, and I don't have to do the, uh, the arts and crafts stuff that Mope has to do to be able to fit 42 wells. Okay, so it's pretty tightly packed. Okay, again, from the trays... I don't know where you would find trays like this in the U.S. I just found them here in the Philippines. My wife found them, actually. So that's kind of like the way that works out. Okay, so two of those. And they actually stack neatly together. They kind of like go on top of one another, and they actually click together. And they, if I, <laughs> if I can get them to click together. And, oh, there, see? So they're actually kind of together now. See, they're kind of like... They, they, they stack kind of neatly together and then when they go back inside they do so 
um, snugly. So let me just show you some of the stuff that I have here. I have bags of stuff I still haven't done. The dice are still on the shrink wrap. The cards are, the cards are all um, uh, sleeved. And the sleeve of extra counters are still here. Okay, and then I've got more mm, markers in baggies. Markers in baggies. I've got these control markers also in baggies. And I've got this thing. I've got all the odds ones all mixed up together. I think that maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I think that they have to come, they, they, they separate them in the game. But then again, I don't know the game very well yet, so I don't know how these work. I may just sleep, uh, rebag them later. You know, the one to ones and the lower lower odds are in one bag, the higher odds are in the other. I don't know, I'm not sure. And then this is again, okay, another bag. So here we see the 